I don't believe it! Bam. The Mercedes EQ, no! Oh. In the wall. Oh. Wiped out! But it looks as though Nico Prost may just have enough. He comes through turn 19. Heidfeld's closing in as they come towards the final corner at turn 20. Is Heidfeld going to fancy a look in. into He's the last closing. corner of the race? Heidfeld goes to the inside line oh. and they make contact and they're both off. And that's an accident for Nick Heidfeld. He has gone off the circuit. The two of them come together in the final corner, which means Lucas de Grassi is going to take victory in the FIA Formula E race here in Beijing. It's fantastic to see Nick Heidfeld climbing out. Not really the test we wanted, and I think we might have a bit of a uh, conversation here between these two. Heidfeld goes to the inside, and I mean, yeah, I mean that's a... Uh, yeah, that's a... Oh. Grassi's very close now to Antonio Felix da Costa. Close enough for a move. Da Costa covers the inside line. Oh, he's going for around the outside. That's never going to work. And they're both in the wall. Da Costa off. Da Grassi off. He's racing those big singles. Well, 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 well. And that wow. is a bit of a confusion on the yellow flags. With only two and a half minutes left to go, Rose and Chris will play no further part in the session. And actually, I think this will be a time for the race director to red flag it because no one's going to get a lap in. So what happens here? This is Oliver Turvey slowing up, slowing up heavily. He's not even looked in his mirrors. He's looking around the corner because there's a car stopped in front of him. And Rose and Chris fully committed, fully locked up. Nowhere to go. What's Buemi up to? Personal bests in the first two sectors, but about three tenths down in total on his teammates, oh, and he's oh, in the wall! Oh. Sebastian wow. Buemi, championship leader, out of the second free practice session. That's a big one for Buemi, coming through the bus stop chicane. Hurt his hands, has he bashed his head, has he got... Oh. A little bit of a flame from the Break brakes. Fire. And the red flag, understandably, is deployed. So that is effectively going to be the end of this second free practice session. We're not going to get this tidied up in eight minutes. Buemi jumping out of the car reasonably happily. He hit that. Uh, he hit that first apex, the left hander. You'll see it here. Look, he looking at that. the right, knocks yeah. it off oh, and yeah. straight in that. In that technical barrier, he's got it there. He's blocking on the inside, Nelson. Whoa, uh, and Ben's gonna get him this time, he's up. got the overlap, he's got the overlap, he's gonna force the issue. Oh. PK's still there, Bernie, oh. Bernie, through, he's gonna go Heidfeld. Oh. And Heidfeld saw that all happen in front of him, PK's damaged, Burns in the barriers, and we are gonna have a safety card. I passed him, he used me to turn, uh, totally uh, run into me in the middle of the corner, and then didn't leave me any room on the outside, and uh, he had plenty of room on the right, and he just, yeah, completely pushed me into the wall. So very, very, very unfair driving from him. And uh, now I don't score any points and um, I have a, a risk uh, that is really painful. Pressure, here comes Heidfeld. Not close enough into six to get the move into the stadium section. Bit of a naughty little uh, weave there to, to keep him back. And here comes Nico Frost, he hits him. Oh. Round goes Heidfeld, pirouetting in the stadium oh, no. and then a shot and the two teammates hit each other. Mitch Evans is caught up in all of that as well. They all get going. That's going to be a safety car, yes, and that could clinch the race for Lucas de Grassi. Yeah, he just clipped him. You see him there for head, two cars. Just clipped him, spun. These guys have got nowhere to go, and there's a the result. Oh, oh wow, got airborne. And when you've got airborne like that, you have no brakes. Trust me, I know. Vern came across to cover wow. it. Wow, that's a big hit of sight slap as well. That really can damage the bones and the pelvis. Let's see how late the defense is from John Ernst. Look at him looking in his mirror and he just keeps coming across. And there's the contact. Now, oh, as you yeah. pointed out pre-race, yeah, there's... And there's Sims getting hit. Oh, in the wall. Back wheels off the ground. We've got two, we've got oh. Lynn and we've got Bird taking evasive action. Is Lynn and Mortara. Here's another look at it. So this is Alex Lynn. In he goes. Ooh. Somehow the race.
Down towards turn eight. Everyone just getting a little bit spread out. On the penultimate lap, whoa, that's not true. Bam! Degrassi sent spinning. Freins was hit into him by Boemi. Man, what the f was that? That was Boemi, mate. Yeah, that was Boemi. A ridiculous move. Hey, here, listen, there's a drive shaft failure, it sounds like, on Lucas Degrassi's car because the left rear is, is, is disconnected from the rest of the car. Degrassi's not going anywhere. Fries has been shunted down the order. Boemi surely will end up with some kind of penalty from that, from what we saw. Jean-Eric Fern! There's chaos at turn one! No. And Jean-Eric Fern will not score any points! Diaz to Cheetah can't believe what they're saying! Formula E can't believe what it's saying! See what happened. So Vern goes for it on Massa. He's up alongside. Well, he's wheel to wheel, they bang. Oh, and Vern, oh, and then they... Oh, here we go. Here we go, this is the next bit. The critical bit is where that orange part of the wall is. Oh, Felipe. Oh, Felipe, what are you doing? Felipe, baby. Oh! oh Felipe was lucky, thank goodness for the halo. And D'Ambrosio just powered on through. And off is Bird. Sam Bird, maybe Van Dorn. Oh, the Cox is off. I got taken out. I've just got taken out. Right, so Bird's out of shape. And then look out, here comes Roland. Bam! Bird holding on, oh, contact! Bird brushes the wall. The car is broken, Sam Bird. His car is broken. The championship leader is out of the second race of the season. And what a transition of emotion. Let's look at this all unfold, Dario. Bird then. Great sees the chance. From Bird there, but just not enough, so he gets back. But now he's, does he know that Mitch Evans is actually there? Oh. So he's, he's almost recovered it. Look, he's got it, he's got it, he's got it. He's had to slow down because he's got so much dirt on his tyres. Then he gets sent into the wall. Lich Evans and the Jaguar just... I'm not sure. Oh, oh and then he gets hit that, that's by Fairline. What... Oh, this is the view I wanted to see. Mitch okay. Evans. Mitch goes... Sees the gap. a gap, yeah, quite rightly. Sees a gap. You know what? The track narrowing down. So, yeah, racing incident. Here comes DaCosta to the inside, he's on Fambus! Oh, De Vries is closing the door aggressively! Now he's locked up massively! Oh, and he's into Freins! Oh, Robin Freins caught Look out of nowhere! Look at the front, it, it yeah. won't stop! Centimetres, millimetres from disaster. That was, I think that's one of my favourite overtakes in Formula E, and Sam Burt goes to the inside, Lim puts him in the wall! The two go backwards, and they're both going to be pretty much out of the race. That might be our first safety car. Did you see that? Did you see him defending? Just drove into the wall. And they're both going to be pretty annoyed at each other, but I think Lynn closed the door, to be perfectly honest with you. Near the end of the race, uh, I've been told I had 2% more energy than Mitch. And as we came up across the hill, he coasted at half track, sort of half defended, whilst I decided to stay flat. Went to the inside. As I've arrived at the barrier, he's carried on coming. It happens very fast, as you know it does. And then the next thing you see is Richard's <laughs> face. Yes, I did. I did see his face as I was hanging upside down. Yeah. Go, big one in the wall for Turvey. That's Oliver Turvey in the wall, and there's uh, another car in there, is there? Turn and this is up the start. Six. This is up the start line. Maybe someone was doing a practice start, and someone, it's Jean Eric Verne. So has Turvey gone into the back of Verne? Uh, yeah. And he's, wow, look, there's a drive shaft. You can see the back. Oh, it's a big hit. Problem is, I think he, look, he's thinking, am I out of qualifying? Yeah, because if the gearbox is damaged, that's a replacement and you get two gearboxes for the whole season. So this is the rear view from Buemi. Oh, so, oh my goodness me. Oh, wow. He was like, oh, I'll cover, oh no, I won't. <laughs> and there goes Bird. No, it's Degrassi slowing. Race, yeah. It's race leader, Lucas Degrassi, slowing on the way up the hill and a big spin, and the two Mercedes collide. Van Dorn's in the wall, facing backwards. 
They all had to take evasive action to avoid a slowing Lucas Degrassi, and that surely will bring out the safety car with four minutes plus one lap to go. Vern leads the race, Bird in second, Evans third. So we're under full course yellow conditions now. Lucas Degrassi, the race leader, appeared to have a drive shaft failure. Suddenly, everybody had to go and pass him. Everyone had to try and take evasive action. The two Mercedes, it seems, came together. Here's a look at what happened, Dario. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, oh. Yeah. so what happened? <laughs> Defre sorry, Van Doren hit manhole cover that was raised on the track, lost control. Not his fault at all. And you see what happened with the two Mercedes. That's it's stop of Van Dorn, not at fault there at all. Use a different part of the track. Watch the Mercedes jump. He's already jumped, and round he goes. And Nick De Vries is De Vries, How much damage does Nick De Vries have in that? Ah, such, such a shame. It's Van Dorn on pole. Roland alongside him on the right-hand side, and Mitch Evans in third place, waiting for the lights for the final round of the World Championship season. Van Dorn on pole, Roland alongside him, all five lights are on. We go green in Berlin, and Evans doesn't move, and he's been hit. Mitch Evans has been hit by Eduardo Mortara. Two title contenders out instantly. You could not have predicted it. You could not have foreseen it. And the ABB FIA Formula E World Championship takes another outrageous turn in the final race of the season. Evans' car just did not move. There is Evans out of the car. So both drivers out of the car. And this is what happens. Evans on the... He no, just, goes. He just, it's almost yeah. like he stalls, but that's not a thing that you can do. And then it went. And so the car jumped forward about 10 centimetres and then just stopped. None of us thought that was going to happen. You hear the impact yeah. just as Jake Dennis passes. Here's the replay on board with Nick De Vries. Oh, and he just got through. And De Vries could have been wiped out as well. Got a clobber on some of the, uh, of the debris on the left. And that's the reaction from James Barkley. Evans out of the car, obviously, which is the best thing to see. Same with Eduardo Mortara. Just such a, one of the loveliest guys in, in Formula E, honestly. Such a lovely man. And look, he's going straight to Mitch Evans and saying, is he fine? Yeah, he's an absolute class actor. Let's think he was second in the points coming into this race today. He missed the race.